Hello everyone and welcome to our uh, drawing today. Now today we're going to be drawing a beautiful butterfly. Because as you know, in our story, The Very Hungry Caterpillar, the little caterpillar right here, he turns into a gorgeous, colorful butterfly at the end, doesn't he? There we go. So today we are going to learn to draw a butterfly. Maybe not quite as large, or maybe as colorful as this one, but it's your picture, so you can make it as colorful as you want. So here we go. So I've already got the colors I want to use ready. So I've got some green, a light blue, a yellow, a pink, I've got a black, and I've got my pencil for my writing later. So I'm going to use my black pencil crayon to do my drawing. What I'm going to do first is in the middle of my page, these are the sides, this is the middle of my page, I'm going to draw the butterfly's body and it's kind of like, um, like a straight worm or a very squished oval. So here we go, so I'm going to draw this body so I'm going down like that. stop just there like that because what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a, a head for him now so it's going to be a little bit more like a half circle a semicircle so like that like that see how it's come out a bit and around down like that you give it a try now draw his body going down watch those videos already you'll find out that they have four wings. They've got two big wings on top and two smaller wings on the bottom. So we're going to draw that. So I'm going to start here by his head and I'm going to come out draw a big wing and then I'm going to come back to about the middle of my butterfly. start where I met here, this line and his body of his wing. I'm going to come out and I'm going to draw his second wing. And I'm going to come back like that. So I've got two wings now. Now what I'm going to do is draw the wings over here as well. So you draw these wings now and then we'll move on to this side. Well done everyone, so now we're going to draw the wings over here. So I'm going to draw it like this, I'm going to come out from his head, and come back, and around, like that, and then I'm going to draw his wing, remember we start with the lines touching? Now I've got one, two, three, four wings. And you know what I love is that we've used up most of our paper. It's good to try to make your pictures big enough to use up a lot of your piece of paper. All right, now, oh, I'm gonna draw his antennae. I always like to do like a little swirl, but you can do yours straight if you want. I go around and I draw a swirl. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to colour in his body. Now I've decided I want his body to be yellow. You can choose what you want the body to be. So I was going to do have blue wings and I was going to have some green and pink designs on my wings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this 
some circles. Now with a butterfly, their wings are, are identical. So they've got good symmetry. It means that it's the same on both wings. So if I've done this green circle here, I need to do a green circle over here. Like that. I mean, that way it's the same. Because butterflies' wings have symmetry. It means they're the same. They're identical. There. And now I was going to draw... butterflies kind of have like an outline on their wing. It's normally black but I thought because in our story the hungry caterpillar it's quite a colorful butterfly that I would try to make my butterfly just as colorful. There so because I've done this here that means I've got to come and do it over here as well. I'm going to draw my line so I have my guide Then I'm going to color the rest of it blue. So what I'm going to do is color it in, but it's going to go really fast. But I'm not actually coloring that fast. It's, I've sped up the, the video, okay? And there we go. So I finished coloring in my butterfly. And now what I'm going to do I'm going to add some eyes to him right here. So I'm going to use my black pencil crayon. Add some eyes. There we go. And I'm going to make him a happy butterfly. There. And if you want, you can add some legs as well. Remember, they got six legs. There we go. And now I'm going to write. A b b b for butterfly. So what I have to do is I'm going to go down like that, and come back up, and go around into it like that. That's my b for butterfly. And now the most important bit is to write my name on my work. And I'm going to write it up here. So make sure that you write your name on your work, writing as many letters as you can from your name. There. Now, if I was to leave my work somewhere, they would know it's Miss Carbono's work. And it works. 
finished. Thank you so much for joining me today for our drawing, and I hope that you have a lovely rest of your day. Take care.